Well, guys, I'm not exactly sure what happened uh, to my recording of question 18, so I'm just going to quickly kind of walk back through it. Um, you'll see all the answers are already written here because I already made a video for it, um, but for some reason it did not post. So um, question 18, we have our two methods. Again, um, we had, we were looking at... Uh, five feet going into 60 inches. So you'll see that here I wrote down our conversion factor. We have one foot equals 12 inches. Notice that I ordered, wrote it in the order that it was in in the problem above. Um, there's actually a third method that isn't shown here that it, that it comes in handy to write these in the right order. Um, if you thought of them as a ratio, how do you get from one to five? You multiply by five which means that you're just going to take 12 and multiply it by 5 to get to your 60. Um, so that is a third way that we didn't really talk about. Um, so I've got my, my conversion factor written down. Uh, I see that a foot is bigger than an inch, so I'm going from big to small, which tells me that I multiply all. And then I take 5 and I multiply it times 12, and I end up with 60 inches. And then the second part over here is us looking at using a conversion factor um, and setting it up as a fraction. So we have five feet, we're gonna multiply it by something to get rid of feet and end up with an answer of inches. So I multiply it, um, I put feet on the bottom to cancel out the feet that are over here, and then I put inch on the top so that I'm left with inches. Um, the reason that I'm allowed to multiply by 12 inches over one foot is because 12 inches is equal to one foot. So if I divided those, this is the same as multiplying by one. Um, so we multiply across, we end up with five times 12 on top and one on the bottom. Our feet canceled out, so we're left with 60 inches. Uh, and that is it for question number 18. I apologize for not going through this step by step. Um, but not sure exactly what's going on with my iPad. If you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.